we have to find the curl of magnetic field for this we use the biosafat law that is magnetic field b vector is equal to mu not by 4 pi integration of j cross r vector by r cube into dv we can write that gradient of 1 by r is equal to gradient of r to the power minus 1 that is equal to minus 1 r to the power minus 1 minus 2 r vector this is by the formula that gradient of r to the power n is equal to n r to the power n minus 2 r vector so it will be minus r vector by r cube so r vector by r cube is equal to minus of gradient of 1 by r so we can replace this term with this so it will be b vector equal to mu naught by 4 pi integration j cross there will be minus because this gradient of 1 by r now you can see that curl of j by r can be written as gradient of 1 by r cross j plus curl of j into 1 by r for steady current j is a constant vector so curl of j is 0 so it will be gradient of 1 by r cross j that can be written as minus of j cross gradient of 1 by r now we can put replace this term with this like this ok this will be mu naught by 4 pi integration of curl of j by r there will be a dv there because there is a dv now this can be written as curl of mu naught by 4 pi integration of j by r dv that is, is equal to p so curl of p is equal to curl of b that is b we put the value of p that is there mu curl of mu naught by 4 pi in integral of j by r dv here we use the formula of curl of curl of a vector and the formula is nabla divergence of a minus nabla square a this is the formula and we use this here taking this as a vector so it will be nabla into divergence of a that is divergence of mu naught by 4 pi integration of j by r dv minus nabla square a that is mu naught by 4 pi integration of j by r dv now we take this term as i1 and this as i2 so this is i1 minus i2 now for the first i1 that is equal to nabla into divergence of mu naught by 4 pi integration of j by r 
dv and this is equal to there v not by 4 pi is a constant so it comes out and remaining and the nebula goes into the integral so it will be divergence of j by r dv and here j is a constant vector with respect to r so it will be 1 by r into dv because j is a constant vector with respect to r so now take let us consider that there is a volume like this v and there is small volume dv with the position vector x dash y dash z dash with respect to the origin and take another point p with the position vector x y z with respect to the origin so that is the origin o so this is the vector r vector and this is r dash vector so this is the capital r vector and this is given by r vector minus r vector dash here this r vector is equal to x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap and r dash vector is equal to x dash i plus y dash j plus z dash k vector and so r is equal to r minus r dash so x i plus y j plus z k minus x dash i plus y dash j plus z dash k and if nebula is the gradient operator with respect to r vector then nebula dash is the gradient operator with respect to r vector dash so divergence of 1 by r with respect to del is negative of divergence dash of 1 by r with respect to del dash so because r is equal to r minus r dash so you can say that this is equal to minus of this so now we can put this condition in this case so it will be there will be minus into nebula of m0 by 4 pi integration of j nebula dash dot 1 by r dv this is equal to u0 by 4 pi divergence dash of because j is a constant there now here we use the surface integral formula of divergence theorem so it will be divergence of a dv equal to a dot ds vector so using the divergence theorem here the surface is tends to infinity so r tends to infinity and for r tends to infinity the current density is vanished because current density is zero as at infinity so so this will be infinity so r tends to infinity the i1 that is current density becomes zero that is i1 is equal to zero now for i2 that is equal to nebula square mu naught by 4 pi 
integration of j by r t v that's equal to mu naught by 4 pi is a constant so nebula get into the integral dv here j is a constant with respect to del so it will be like this and we can write this term nebula square 1 by r as minus of 4 pi del operator of r vector minus r so it will be nebula square r vector dash into t phi this is the formula of nebula square 1 by r is equal to minus of 4 pi this is now for r is equal to r dash condition from the fundamental formula of del operator we get it will be mu naught by 4 pi the integral vanish and j into minus of 4 pi so it will be minus of mu naught j vector now this is the value of i2 and now this is i1 is 0 and i2 is minus of mu naught j vector so it is equal to mu naught j vector so the curl of magnetic field is given by mu naught j vector so that is curl of p is equal to mu naught j vector